Hey everyone, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D Disney Pixar style cartoon movie like this. In a quiet suburban basement, eight-year-old Tommy created a world of wonders. His lab, adorned with posters of great scientists, blueprints, and gadgets, was the birthplace of his greatest invention. A machine to open a portal to a new universe. Just a few more connections. Using Luma Labs Dream Machine, Leonardo AI, and Canva. First, we'll use Luma Labs to generate and animate stunning 3D models effortlessly. Next, Leonardo AI will add realistic textures to our characters. Finally, Canva will help us storyboard and finalize our project's visual elements. Let's get started and bring your imagination to life. Go to Luma Dream Machine, but we will go to this try now option and then we will create an account with your Gmail and or email account. Now it will redirect us to the main page. Five, you can use it for five generations per day for the time being. Otherwise, you have total 30 generations for free. Before we move forward, friends, I have one small request to you. I have given myself a target of 2000 likes and 500 comments. So please do contribute your valuable opinion in the comment section and please smash the like button. Your support helps me to thrive every single day. With that, let's move forward to the next part. We're going to do text to video. We can do text to video as well as image to video. So for the first generation, I'll be showing you how to do a text to video. Then we will go to image to video option. And here I will paste the prompt. Okay, and then I'll go to this send prompt option. This enhanced prompt option should always be ticked. It should be checked because it will automatically enhance your prompt. Now let us wait for a while while uh, my video is getting generated. Let us go to part 2 where we will be creating the image and then we will be uploading that image here and then we will be creating the video out of it. For that I am going to use Leonardo AI. I will leave all these links in the description. Now here you will have to go to this image generation option. Straight away go to this image generation option. Now see those who are um, aware of this platform, they can very well see the platform has changed its interface. If you want to get back to the previous mode, you can keep this double off. Okay, but I am going to go to this legacy mode only and here I will be pasting the same prompt. Okay, if you want to improve the prompt, you can go to this improve prompt option. That way it will improve the prompt. Once this is done, here you can check any of these styles concept art style so you can take any of these styles so i'm going to take phonics version only here enhancement you can keep it auto okay now preset style you have different styles here you can choose any of these styles contrast you can keep low high or medium i'll keep high quality should always be uh, selected here not the fast one i will select the dimension also you can select number of images i'm keeping it two now if you go to advanced settings you can keep this uh, photorealism model on, but uh, for phonics, your photorealism model will always remain off. So if you go for any other model, you can keep it on. Next is negative prompt. You may keep it, keep this toggle on and give some negative prompt. And then I will go for generate. So let me see. Uh, see here, the image is quite satisfactory, but then it is not quite Pixar 3D style. So I will be, I would like to go for Pixar 3D style. So I will add it. I would say this, I will take Leonardo lightning style and here in model you can choose since I have not chosen Phoenix. Uh, so I have the option to choose any model. So I would like to go for Kino Excel style. Okay, you can keep photorealistic model on. Okay, let's see now which images gets generated are satisfactory or not. Now see these uh, images are pretty good. I would like to go for this image, okay? So I will just go for smooth upscaling by going to this option. 
and then after the upscaling is done, I would like to download this image. Okay. Now what we are doing we to keep the characters same, we will have to go to this option prompt box top right left hand side corner. We we'll have to go to this portion and go to character reference. Here, since we have generated our uh, image in, in this platform itself, so we will go to this generation option and we'll be taking this image as character reference and confirm it. And then we will be changing the prompt. So I have already got my prompts here. I have already generated two scenes, so I'm taking the third scene. Raised all the settings, I will keep same and then go to generate. Now let us see how to generate a video out of an image. So, so for that, first we will go to this image icon. Here we will have to upload the image which I, I want to animate. Okay, here there is an option for end frame also. If you want to give an end frame option, then you can choose it from here. So go here and add, you may add one end frame. For the first video, I'm not going to give any creative directive completely here. So I'm just going to keep the enhance prompt this option checked in, checked and I will go to generate. In the next image to video, I'm going to give the complete directive because most of the time I have seen if I have not given any prompt here, the video comes out is a bit weird. I'll give an image. So I'll go to this image option. And here I will be giving one image. I'm not giving any end frame. Okay. I'm just going to paste one prompt. Okay. After that, I will give this prompt and this I will ask for generating the video. <laughs> I'll have to download this video. Now once downloaded, head over to Canva. From app section, we can go to Lalamo app. Here you have upload video and audio both. So first I uh, upload video and image both. So first I have uploaded one image and I will be taking the first audio. So I will go to this audio option and choose the audio. I will choose the first audio, this one, and open and then play. Just a few more connections. Almost there. Okay. Now generate the lip sync video. Now Lalamo is an uh, is a third party app. In app section, you get different third party apps who are uh, who have integrated their own uh, website with Canva so that you can have a try via Canva and then if you like, you can further get into their main server or main website and create your own video further. Okay. Now if I add it to design. Just a few more connections. Almost there. Now right click and set the video as background. So my, my first slide is ready. I'll be going to share option, download in MP4 format. I will download this video. Okay. So once this is being done, um, let us upload another video, create new video. Here I will go to upload video option and I'll be uploading this video. Okay, instead of image which we have just done, I will upload the second audio. So I'll go to upload audio option and I'll go to choose file option. And here I'll be choosing the second audio. Now create lip sync. So let us just wait for a while. This is my video. So I'll go to a new, I'll add a new, a new slide and then add the video. Ready, Pepper? Right click. Okay, now you see. Ready, Pepper? We're about to make history. Okay. So once it is done, again go to share option or the download option and here I will check the only page which I want to, only the slide which I want to download. So download it. Okay. Like this you can create lip sync also and you can create videos from images. Like this I have created all these images. I'm going to show you another way to do lip sync and video generation, which is by Runway ML Gen 2. 
well this is not free software but you can see i am using a free account where i'm getting 105 second uh, videos for free i actually started with 525 credits here i will have to go to select asset option and i will simply take this video this uh, this image okay so let it get uploaded see it is uploaded now okay now here it is optional to give a prompt go to generate 4 second video this option it will take some while to generate if you want to speed up your generation you can upgrade okay there we go our video is ready now you can play it from here okay now if you are not satisfied you can further generate it and here one more thing you can do lip sync on this video itself now how to do it go to this lip sync option okay now you have to upload the audio or you can record the audio i will just upload one audio select from asset it can be maximum 40 seconds long i have selected one audio you can play it from here ready, ready pepper we're about to make history so we have done lip sync by canva lalamu we have also tried lip sync from runway email you do let me know guys which software you are liking the most if you need any free asset please do let me know i'll definitely try to find out something free or open source which you can use and try i'll download okay both the videos you can download okay now i have used free version only you can say uh, upgrade is showing that means my account is free it's still having 97 seconds left so it's a good option for generating lip sync and image to video along with uh, luma lab luma dream lab okay so once everything is done now let us head over to filmora finally you can use any video editing software and upload all your files whatever you have downloaded so let me upload all my files now one by one we will have to first take the audio audio slide here and accordingly we will have to adjust you'll have to adjust all the videos okay one by one and then you need you need some you need some nice background music so for that and some um, sound effect for that i would suggest three places the first one is from here audio sound effect here you have whoosh sound effect click sound effect ding you have trending sound effects also glitch okay so you can try any of these you have nice instrument sound effects as well fire sound effect whatever you need you might get here but one thing you should remember if you're using filmora uh, 13 or filmora 12 please go to this drop down and use only free assets pexel.com you have sound effects as well so go here and you can go for audio or you can also use youtube library and if you come a little downwards you have this audio library in the left hand side widget you can have sound effects and music here so you can download any of these music as well so once you once you download all this you just need to assemble this here as per the requirement and then you can adjust the volume by double clicking or going to this effects option if you're using filmora 13 it should come in the right hand side widget and then you can change the volume, if the fade in, fade out, all these options. Once everything is set, you can go to top right hand side corner, explore button, give a name, select the directory, keep the high resolution selected, other things, other settings will be same, and then export. And after all this, this is the final result. In a quiet suburban basement, eight year old Tommy created a world of wonders. His lab, adorned with posters of great scientists, blueprints, and gadgets, was the birthplace of his greatest invention. A machine to open a portal to a new universe. Just a few more connections. Almost there! With his loyal dog, Pepper, by his side, Tommy worked tirelessly. Ready, Pepper? We're about to make history! Come on, boy! Let's see what's out there! And if you want to know different models, different AI tools, please do visit 
Vagpay Media dot in, where we have created a comprehensive course for you all, which is getting an early bird offer as well at this moment. So, guys, if you like this video, please, please, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and please consider to give me a like. One small request: please do share my content with your friends and family so that I can thrive in every single day to create new videos like this for you all. Thank you so very much for staying here with me. I'll come back with some fun tutorial next week. Till then, stay safe and stay legendary.